Good morning. Good morning from Statesboro, Hideaway, and also from the Bullock County Historical Society. Today's tidbit is brought to you by our following corporate members, Orchid Asian Restaurant, Polk Construction Company, and Vision Source. Many thanks to all of you. Scriven County is a very old county in Georgia, and it was created on December 14, 1793. It was named for General James Scriven, who died fighting in Georgia during the Revolutionary War. It is bordered by two great rivers, the Savannah and the Ogeechee. Towns in this county include Gerard, Hiltonia, Newington, and Sylvania. Jacksonboro was the first county seat of Scriven County and remained this until 1847. The town was named for James Jackson, a Revolutionary War soldier. He was a Georgia congressman, senator, and also a governor. Jacksonboro met its fate with a curse imposed by the circuit-riding preacher Lorenzo Dow. This man has always fascinated me. He came through Bullock County, down Old River Road, with his fire and brimstone sermons. He did not practice personal hygiene, and his long hair and beard were said to have never met a comb. He was a fierce abolitionist, which made him unpopular down here in the South. Well, Lorenzo rode into town, that's Jacksonboro, on his horse and began preaching at the local church. Residents threw bricks and stones at him through the church windows. Lorenzo left the church and went to the local saloon, grabbed an iron poker and broke open a barrel of whiskey. The locals were furious and attacked the preacher. Seaborn Goodall pulled him from the saloon and sheltered him in his house. Dow left the next morning, having tomatoes and eggs thrown at him. He reached the bridge at the edge of town and placed a curse on the entire town except the house of Seaborn Goodall. In a few years, the entire town disappeared due to flooding, fires, and winds, except for the house of Seaborn Goodall. The Briar Creek DAR still keeps this home intact. Isn't that a great story? The present county seat of Scriven County is Sylvania. It was founded in 1760, and the name was suggested by a local poet named Kyler Young. The word Sylvania is derived from the Latin word meaning a place in the woods. It was incorporated in 1854 on lands purchased by, from, I mean, Charles Church for a dollar per acre. Here is the courthouse that was erected for Scriven County in 1897. Isn't it beautiful? What a shame that it was torn down in 1964 in the name of progress. The Battle of Briar Creek is a famous battle site of the Revolutionary War, fought on March the 3rd, 1779. This creek flows into the Savannah River in Scriven County. A group of local patriots and some militia from North Carolina were surprised by the attack and suffered many casualties from the British. A few weeks earlier, the American patriots had had a major victory over the British at Kettle Creek, north of Augusta. Bragging rights on this battle at Kettle Creek led to the siege in the Battle of Briar Creek in Scriven County. Some things just never change. My hideaway connection to Scriven County is through the hospitality industry. As you probably know, my entire life has revolved around the word hospitality. From the Convention Bureau and the Hampton Inn to church tours and monthly Sunday luncheons, taking groups to cities like New York and San Francisco, I just love everything about the word hospitality. 
The Georgia Welcome Center in Scriven County is located on the border of South Carolina and it has a special place in my heart. I've taken many a cake there. I've helped with numerous Georgia on my mind festivals. I have lobbied at the state capitol to save this Welcome Center on more than one occasion. Yes, I love this little 1960s beacon of hospitality. The Georgia Welcome Center on U.S. Highway 301 is the nation's oldest continually operating roadside business center. It's placed on the National Register. They have the cleanest restrooms in the state and the coldest free Coca-Cola given to you in an old-fashioned paper cup. Governor Ernest Vanderver found some extra money in the state budget in 1962. State Spurs own and my good friend Ed Eccles was the architect. The building cost $46,348.24. That was in 1962. In 1962, gas cost 31 cents a gallon. In 1962, an airline crashed in Paris and killed 106 members of the Atlanta Art Association. They were returning for a month in Europe. I remember my parents talking about this. The Reverend Martin Luther King in 1962 was sentenced to 45 days in jail for trying to desegregate government buildings in Albany, Georgia. And in 1962, Northerners entering our state didn't know what to expect from us. Imagine. Jackie Harrington was a dear friend of mine, and she was the first manager of this Welcome Center. We lost Jackie a few years ago. She was 85. She was the poster child for the word hospitality. She always told the story that visitors would look behind the counter, down at our feet, because they didn't think we wore shoes. <laughs> Through the years, they have given away packs of peanuts, slices of pecan pie, and Claxton fruit cake, fresh peaches, cotton balls, and since day one, a free cold Coca-Cola. Another manager and friend was Elva Mills from Millen, Georgia. A favorite son of Scriven County is lawyer Francis Johnson, who has an office here in Statesboro. He's a graduate of our Georgia Southern, and his law degree is from my alma mater at the University of Georgia. He's a devout corporate member of BCHS. In 2013, Francis was elected as the youngest ever president of the Georgia NAACP. He is a noted civil rights attorney and a pastor. I just love this quote of his. Folks sometimes are confused about the NAACP. They think the NAACP deals only in black and white issues. This is certainly not the case, says Francis. He says, we deal in red, white, and blue issues, American issues. I just love that. Thanks for sharing with me today about a neighboring county of ours, Scriven. And can't wait to be with you again. Bye.